But trust me, <laughs> marriage has taught me patience <laughs> so much. I don't yell. I don't argue. I just say, just, I try to have a lesson here. Like, hey, listen, just, no one's trying to win here. This is not a contest. Mm-hmm. Just trust me when I'm telling you something that I know for sure. You know, we don't have to argue about it. That's all I'm asking. Well, you, I don't know. <laughs> But what about, you know, there ain't no what about. Just, yeah, what about you just listen to Tell me, man. All I need you to do for me, please. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's all I'm saying. And no, I don't subscribe to this thing that the wife is always right and the women are always right. I had to go through this shit when she, when she left to, and I'm not, this is not about her. I'm, this is not about her at all, but she, she went to, uh, when she went to Istanbul, mm-hmm. it was like, it's this whole thing. So, you know, not everybody, but a couple of people kind of like, uh, well, how the hell you didn't go? Why the hell you didn't go with her? And I was like, I'm working. I know if my wife left. I was like, you don't know. You, oh, what? You, are you talking about your son, Julian? So, he's one of them. Not, that's one. That's one. Because <laughs> me and her were both laughing at him. <laughs> yeah. Well, she came to tell me. She's like, you know, Julian said, I said, you know, do you? <laughs> you gonna sit up here and <laughs> rewind that back? What you just said? You gonna sit, not, no offense, no offense to Ju- Julian. You're young. No, no, no. no. He's just young. He doesn't know. But you gonna you gonna quote Julian to me? Julian who ain't, who ain't, who's 24 years old, ain't never been married, and ain't, and ain't got it, and and works for somebody else, mm. and for the first time here in Austin. You know what I'm saying? They, besides working at Target back in uh, Fort Worth, I said this guy, this guy ain't had. Nearly the life experiences that we had. You gonna sit up here and tell me what he would do? <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. <laughs> okay. Well, Julius said that if I, that if his wife went to Turkey, he doesn't like. He, he, Did she tell you why he would do that? Just because that's what a husband's supposed to do with their no, wife. No, that's not why. I, I, you know, that, no, no. We talked to him. His reason was he's been cheated on before, and he would be afraid that she would cheat. That's why I was like, oh my, went to Africa for three weeks. I'm like, whatever she's gonna do, she's gonna do. I. You can't be by her side all the time trying to make sure that they, they're going to stay faithful yeah, to you. Exactly. That's, it's, it's, that'd be exhausting. It's impossible. Wow. Thank, okay, see, that was never told to me, that detail oh, yeah. right there. It was <laughs> set up as something romantic. <laughs> well, if, if my wife went, I would go wherever she went. It ain't like, like so I could keep an eye on her ass. You know, that was never told to me at all. It was, it was like, it was out of loyalty and all that. And I was uh-huh. like, and I was like, all right. So, you know, this whole thing of, like, people, people saying, and it's not, a, this is not me telling her. I'm telling people because people are like, you just going to let her go to Turkey? You ain't going to go? You, you I said, got, you, you got to drop that let shit. I said, for, did y'all learn, learn nothing from this Will Smith shit? Mm. Like, I don't own her. I exactly. told her, I said, I said, whether I like it or not, if you want to leave to go to Turkey, for, I would never tell you not to go home. Mm-hmm. So if you want to go for two months, three months, five months, the way it works out is the way it works out. But I will never stop you from going because you are your own person. Now, if it's a problem, it'll be a problem to we'll talk about it. But if you want to do it, you do what you want to do. Mm-hmm. But people, you know, this is, this is not this is not me. This is not man having worse than women. Let me just go ahead and educate y'all on something about about uh, uh, how we I, how would how would I put this? Because I don't want to put male victimizations or anything like that. But there are just things that are expected out of a man which are not fair, and people don't even think about it. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. So it's like she goes and it's like, well, you you gonna let her go or how come you don't go with her? And I was like, hey, has anybody ever stopped to think that I'm working? <laughs> you know, uh, I, I you know we have a home, we you know we 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 need money for maintenance of this home. We need to we need to eat. We want to take vacations. Mm-hmm. That shit ain't done without you know it, it definitely ain't done on our goddamn looks. Mm-hmm. You know it's done because we because. I'm working. Sure. And I love this what I do, but it's still, I, I got to stay here and do it. I can't take off for like three months just to hang over there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, no, no the, the whole idea of that. Like, uh, I had a brother-in-law who was always talking to my sister, like, man, Martin just lets his wife go on all these trips. Who knows what she's up to? And like, she's working. And you worried yeah. about let let her go? I Yeah, she's not my property. She's not my child. Yeah. And my sister ended up divorcing him. <laughs> <laughs> and that was his third divorce. <coughs> oh, really? Yeah. So I was like, he ain't got no room to be criticizing or judging what other people do. Yeah. No, I, 
I just said, no, exactly. You know, you let your wife do what she want to do, and yeah. you know, you you trust her. I, yeah. How about trust? How about that? And you know, and, and plus, ain't nobody. Ain't I don't own her. You know, she, she don't own me, but I definitely don't own her. I respect her. I respect her decisions, and I respect what she wants to do. Mm -hmm. The other thing that happened, she's over there, and then I jo I talked about going to Las Vegas while she was gone. Yeah. Now, nobody said anything about, oh, shit, you ain't worried about what she's doing over there? Why is she over there so long? Why you, why would you, wait, you, 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 there's something wrong between y'all's relationship? And nobody said that about her leaving. Mm -hmm. But the moment I, she left for, for two months. <laughs> Two months, and everybody was like, that's cool that she got to go back home to Turkey. Yeah, yeah. How was that? I talk about going to Las Vegas. While she's gone over there for a weekend, they're like, oh, she ain't going to like that. Why you got to go over there? Oh, what you up to, Corey? Man, fuck you. I, like, no, none of that was put on her. Was none of that your mom saying those things? No. That's, no. that's cool. No, my no, my mother, no. My mother, had, she, she says, y'all do what y'all want to do. That's one cool thing about my mom. Mm -hmm. You know, now when, when I did do the show in Dallas, my mother, ooh, there's a lot of women there, Corey. What you doing? <laughs> <It's> like, <laughs> Thank you. Double standards. That's what you. Now, yeah. my mama didn't lay that on me because I said, because I told her about the Dallas show because uh, I went home after we came from Dallas. Yeah, yeah. My, Waco's on the way. Yeah, yeah. But I pulled over there and I showed her and I said, she said, what? So what was it? What were y'all doing? I said, well, let me show you some pictures. And this is the event rate. I said, well, this is very. So a lot of people showed up. It was cool. And I still showed her like the after party. Yeah. And she like, ooh. A lot of women in the corner. Now. You, you sure you, you, you what you doing? Now? I'm like, not, not, God damn it! After I just praised you. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, shit. You don't. You the same way. You talking about her going over there? And she's having a good time, Corey. She's seeing her family. How's she doing over there? Is she doing good? I go to Dallas for a weekend. Ooh, quite a lot of ass around there. Now. I don't know what you're doing, shit. Are you sure you okay? And I was like, oh, now come on, mm. come on now. Mm. <laughs> but no, it's double standards. No one's sitting up here saying that that uh, uh, men have it easier than women. We do. We do. We are way more privileged than yeah, women. Oh, and, yeah, we, and I absolutely. recognize the privilege that mm -hmm. we got. Don't get me wrong. But at the same time, part of that privilege, people hold it against you not to call out these double standards. Mm -hmm. And this is not her because she ain't said shit to me. She didn't say, she says, you can do what you got to do. And that's fine. And I did tell her. I say, look, you go to Turkey, you know, let's just un let's get understanding. I hope you 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 pay me the same courtesy that I gave you in case I gotta go somewhere. Sure. Like let's just say I gotta go to London to see my cousin, and if you can't go at that moment, then I hope that you understand that I can I can't go with you. Mm -hmm. You know, it's just you, we're gonna, you know, things gotta be equal sometimes, and then sometimes and then, and when you get married, sometimes those the the that agreement's not always understood. <laughs> True. When you when you get in a relationship, you get married. Don't sit up here and think. I'm going to tell you right now, uh, this is bullshit. Uh, happy wife, happy life. Uh, the woman's always right. Keep her happy. No, that's all bullshit. It's bullshit if it's like it, it, the it, husband's it, always right. It makes for a nice bumper sticker. It does. <laughs> but no. that's about it. It ain't even the husband's always right. The man wears the pants in the family. Mm -hmm. I run things around. No. Everybody got to have an understanding of the relationship and work as a team. Mm -hmm. That's the way it yeah. is. Yeah, you're a it's team. A, yeah, somebody pulled that happy wife, happy life shit to me. I'm like, well, shit, let me get the fuck on out of here then. That's the case. Because, <laughs> shit, I want to be happy too. <laughs> <You know? laughs> shit, I think we both need to be happy. I want, hey, how come we can't just be a happy couple? How come everybody can't have some happiness? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? No, not you. <laughs> you the man. <laughs> Either. It's a really, it's a, it's a weird dynamic that people think you're supposed to have when you're a man in a, in a when you're a man in a relationship. It's either supposed supposed to be you running things around here, or oh, just let her do what she do. Mm -hmm. It ain't like that. Mm -hmm. it, it shouldn't be like that in a relationship. Period. Fuck marriage. It should be. It shouldn't be like that anyway. Sure. So, oh, people, everybody's like, is this a guy? Is this Doctor Phil? Or is this a goddamn <laughs> review show? <huh?" laughs>